Hello and welcome to Ericon Lodge Micro Lectures. Uh, I'm Dr. Greg Mertz. I'm the host of this particular series and this series is about uh, the comparative anatomy and physiology of invertebrate and vertebrate animals. Uh, our focus is really on the vertebrate body uh, and of course vertebrate animals are those with backbones. We're talking about cells today. We're talking about the most basic building block building unit of how uh, bodies are put together. And uh, we're, we're going to uh, use uh, an idealized cell. And what we did actually was we took a sample of blood from a mute swan. That's one of the swans you would see on a local pond. And uh, it's a sick swan that came into us. We took a blood sample from it and we smeared it onto a microscopic slide and stained it so that we can then look at it uh, uh, through uh, a microscope. And our particular microscope is set up um, as a uh, microscopic, a light microscope, but it also uh, has a focus and display on a TV screen. And uh, what you see here are individual cells. And this unit here is a cell, this is a cell, this is a cell, this is a cell. So you can see each one of these is a different cell. There are many, many different kinds of cells. There are so many different kinds of cells, I don't think we could, uh, we could list them all, uh, you know, trying to, trying to uh, work out exactly what is in a body and what's not in a body. Uh, these particular individual cells that we are looking at here are red blood cells, and these are avian or bird red blood cells. These are not mammalian blood cells. So if anybody's used to seeing mammalian blood cells, they would see that uh, they would not see the nucleus inside. But let me just start and say, okay, what we're trying to do is describe an idealized cell. And every cell has a cell membrane, and that cell membrane is the outer edge. And it's the, the membrane, it's the structure that separates the cell from the environment. If we didn't have the cell membrane there, this cell would join with this cell, this cell would join with this cell, or the whole entire thing would fall apart and just, uh, you know, it would be nothing. It would just be a mixture of this and that just sort of in the, in the environment. But by having a cell membrane, it creates a distinct living unit. Every one of these cells is alive, and every one of these cells goes together to create a bigger uh, organism. Now, we talk about the cell membrane, but then inside we have the nucleus, and that is the smaller, darker material in the very center of the uh, cell. And that dark material in the center is where the DNA is. And the DNA that is in there, all the the genes, all of the chromosomes that are in there, are what are necessary to make this individual cell work, but it's also all the DNA that is inside of there that tells that mute swan what it needs for organs, what it needs for organ systems, and what that animal looks like, and, to, and to, it would, if we could take all that DNA and program it, we would end up with a mute swan. So that DNA is there to instruct this particular cell how to work, but it is also there to instruct the whole entire body how to work. And you can see the DNA is the same here as in this cell, as in this cell, as in this cell. And every individual organism has within its own cells the instructions for, for that particular specific animal. Now between the cell membrane and the nucleus we have something called uh, cytoplasm. And within that cytoplasm there are a number of other substructures. There are structures that very um, that have very distinct, distinct functions. There's something in here called the mitochondria, there's endoplasmic reticular, there's Golgi apparatus, there's lysosomes, there's any number of smaller organelles. And they all go together to have this particular cell do its function. A red blood cell's function, of course, is to carry oxygen. And it's to carry oxygen uh, to each one of the 35 trillion or so cells that are inside of this uh, mute swan. And those are the most basic structures of uh, uh, building a particular body. 
next time, when we get together next time, we do another micro uh, lecture, we're going to talk about how cells go together to create tissues. And then later we're going to talk about how tissues go together to create organs, organ systems, and organisms. I want to thank you for watching today. Uh, appreciate your, your uh, uh, interest. And we'll try to do one of these lectures every week or so and uh, post them on our, on our website. Thank you very much.